proud bastion of democratic struggle. Southwestern townships, a product of apartheid's Group Areas Act. As opposition deepened and the apartheid regime remained intractable, liberation giants would walk these streets. Post-democracy, it still beats its own drum, a dazzling cacophony of culture, music and political awareness. Vilakazi Street nowadays, a destination of choice for tourists, a vibrant and heady buzz, it selflessly gave the world two global icons. It's one of the most famous streets in the world. Two Nobel laureates, Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela, lived here. So just exactly how much are people willing to fork out to have property here? These are standard apartheid-style architecture, block four-roomed houses, and hardly aesthetically pleasing. Yet some are willing to fork out millions to purchase here. He actually asked me what is the value of the house, and then I said it's 650,000. And then he said, if I can give you 2 million, will you sell? I said, no, no ways. I'm not going to sell because I don't see myself living anywhere else. Red-faced brick and zinc roof houses are fast becoming a thing of the past. In this street, they've been replaced by businesses and double-story buildings with views as far as the eyes can see. Now, most houses have also been renovated into more bigger and modern homes. Yet prices have skyrocketed for the most modest of homes. There are people who are offering even a million, two million, even three million house, um, um, rents for this house because it is situated you know, on Vilakazi Street. There's, the, the value of Vilakazi Street is just astronomical. Famous eateries are also a major draw card and have boosted the demand for living space. I've heard others, they'll say, walk away, Sakumzi will give you 50 million. And I ask them, what is it that I'll be doing? Yes, I can take the 50 and what must I do? Because I don't know anything else except running the business now. I've been running this for 13 years and I'm passionate about what I'm doing. And you'd be lucky to get retail space on the iconic street. I saw an opportunity and then I striked. It's become difficult for them to get space for the, their stores and stuff like that. But even with the demand in Vilagazi Street, there's no price tag on pride. Residents here simply won't sell. Perhaps they're a street ahead. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News, Villagazi Street in Soweto.